So this is lesson 18, the second video on uh, ratio word problems and similar triangles in Algebra 2. And we're going to look at similar triangles here. Now these three triangles are considered similar for one reason and one reason only. Their angles are the same. So notice this has two hash marks. This one does and this one does. Double hash marks consistently show that those angles are alike. This one has a single one, so that means this one and this one are the same because they have singles 3, 3, 3. So all of the angles here are the same measurement. It doesn't matter what size the triangles are. If they have the same measurement, they're considered similar. And when they're considered similar, their sides are corresponding, which means there is a ratio or a proportion between the sides. So if I were to take any of these fractions or any of these sides and make a fraction. If I took 3 over 7 and 6 over 14, those will be equal to each other. If I reduce 6 to 14, 6 over 14, it reduces to 3 over 7. If I write it as 5 over 35 over 3, this, this, and this equal the same fraction, even though this one might take a little bit of work to uh, get it that way. But that's what we're talking about when we're talking about similar triangles is that the sides are all going to be uh, similar in ratio. And therefore if I know part of the uh, triangle's lengths I can go ahead and find the other one. So let's look at an example here. Let's say that I do not know that this is 10. Let's cross that out. And if I took what I do know, these three and these two, I can find out that the length of that one that I just crossed out there is 10. So I'm going to compare my 3 and my 5 with my 6 and whatever this is. So I'm going to write this as 3 over 5 equals 6 over x. Do cross multiplication, divide, and my x equals 10. So I can um, use my idea of proportions in order to find out what any of these lines are that I don't know. If I don't know, let's say this, I can take 3 over 7 equals 6 over x, because we would call this x. I could also go hmm, 5 over 7 equals 10 over x, and it would still give me the same number, 14, when I do my cross multiplication. I cannot do 3 is to 5 as 6 is to 10, because that's not helping me find x. I need to have my variable in there somewhere. So uh, that's how you do the proportions with similar triangles. So let's go ahead and look at example 18.3. So for this one we're trying to find out the value of x and y. So I'm going to set up one proportion at a time in order to do that. So I'm going to look at um, my 4 and my 5 and compare it to my 3 and the x. So 4 is to 5 as 3 is to x. And I get 15 over 4. Now that's not very pretty, but that's what we end up getting is 15 over 4. Alright, now I'm going to set up the proportion in order to find my y value. Let's do that in red. So I'm going to do, it doesn't matter what number I do, as long as I have a 7 and my y, because those are both um, related to each other. So I'm going to go 4 over 7 equals 3 over y. I could also write it as 7 over 4 equals y over 3. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to get the same answer anyway. 
4y equals 21, divide by 4, divide by 4, my y equals 21 over 4. So this is 21 over 4. Okay, so that's it as far as doing similar triangles. So the next video we'll do some problems from the problem set and go from there.